Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Claire. This is a general reading for the collective today. These are going to be channeled messages for the collective. If you're looking for a pick a card reading, please don't worry. There's plenty more of those coming and you can also check out my playlists. This reading is a timeless reading, I trust. And whenever you have discovered this reading that there is a message here for you okay so let's jump in find out what's going on between you and your person of interest today okay what oh no spirit is saying do more shuffling let's see what's going on only you this is so beautiful so i sense that you and your person your person only has eyes for you right now okay um, you may doubt that, you may wonder about that, but you are the one who is in their heart, okay? This is what I'm seeing. This kind of gentle energy here. There are definitely loving feelings in this connection. We have the card cycles coming out as well. So it may be that kind of there's the closing off of one cycle, but you're cycling into kind of a new phase in this connection. So, and I feel like that is very necessary, okay? There may have been like a lot of stagnant energy between you or... A situation that kind of wasn't ideal but you're cycling out of that energy now spirit is really clear that that kind of uh, issue or that kind of phase in your connection is now coming to an end so that you can move forward into something more positive we get the card pain as well so I feel like your person is really hurting right now um, they're struggling with their emotions they're sort of in <clears throat> excuse me emotional pain that they are kind of dealing with some, uh, you know, some kind of struggling with, you know, their feelings. Struggling to kind of deal with this situation. They have very strong feelings for you. Let's take a look, find out, uh, we'll jump into your tarot, see what's going on for you. Seven of Swords coming out here. This is the energy of self-sabotage, right? This is the general theme of your reading. It often represents cheating. If that's the case, then that is something that you already know about. It's something that you're kind of aware of. But the uh, message that I got from Spirit here is that they're self-sabotaging. So I feel like they've hurt you, but they've also hurt themselves is what I'm getting up. Um, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. I feel like there have been lies that they may have lied to you, but equally they're lying to themselves about kind of the depth of their feeling. They wouldn't be in this pain. Like they wouldn't feel it so strongly if they didn't care about you and they didn't love you, right? And that they only have eyes for you. I feel like they've kind of ruined the best thing in their life is what I'm hearing from spirit, right? You are the best thing in their life and they've kind of undermined this or self-sabotaged it in some way. This is what I'm picking up on right now. Yeah, you get the Devil, King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. So Capricorn's energy showing up here, Leo energy very strongly, could be an Aries or Sagittarius as well. So they've got they've got an issue that they need to work on, okay? But they are changing. This is something that they can overcome. And it may be that they've already changed with this Wheel of Fortune, right? We looked at this with the cycles and now we've got this Wheel of Fortune. So fate is playing its hand here. Yes, there is a lot of desire here. There's a lot of passion. They kind of... There is that motivation for them to kind of overcome this, this self-sabotaging behavior, this pattern that they have, which keeps showing up and keeps being an issue and keeps being a problem. They have that motivation to kind of be different. There is a desire within them to want to do things differently, to be a different person, to be different. So it's not like they're completely oblivious to this and it's not like they're happy as they are because they're not. They want to change this. This is something that they want to be able to master, that they want to be able to overcome and really kind of put to bed and leave behind. They don't want to be this person who shows up in this way. But Wheel of Fortune, I see a powerful change coming in here, particularly with the King of Wands, being able to do the work whatever the work is that they need to do, right? To show up for life in a different way. So uh, yeah, it's interesting. Change is coming in here definitely in this connection, right? I see them being able to kind of overcome these difficulties. If there's been issues or challenges or difficulties, I see like that there is a lot of motivation in this connection to really uh, make changes here, make positive changes. 
and to turn this thing around, right? To turn this situation around. Oh my goodness. Powerful energies coming out here. We've got uh, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Swords. I'm getting a couple of messages here. I mean, this King and Queen of Cups coming out side by side. This is soulmate energy here, maybe twin flame energy. You're dealing with a divine counterpart, but I'm seeing right now, okay, you are connected heart to heart, soul to soul. This is a deep, loving connection. I'm getting a couple of messages, though. They do love you very deeply. There is an ocean of emotion, is what I want to say, between you and this person right? They've not experienced anything like this before. This is like completely new. What I'm hearing as well is that it's a spiritual connection, okay? This is something that has been written in the stars. This is something that's very deep and meaningful. This is a spiritual connection that you have, and they've not experienced a spiritual connection before. They may have experienced kind of loving feelings, but you, they're connected to at the soul level, right? So I see two people who are divine counterparts, soulmates, twin flames, right? I see the depth of their love here, that kind of emotion ocean. I feel like everything that they feel to, towards you is very strong. The love that they feel towards you, the pain when there is struggle is very, very strong. So I'm hearing from spirit as well that they're often very overwhelmed by the emotions that they have in this situation. This may cause them to kind of want to step away, to be cold, to uh, want to put up some sort of defense right? Sometimes because it feels too intense for them. This is what I'm getting, okay? For some of them. The other message that I'm getting here is just like there's this king in between these two queens. Now, this is not a gender-specific reading, okay? But I'm just wondering, I'm just looking at the energies here as I'm seeing it, that... Sorry, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio showing up really strongly, Aquarius, Libra as well. That may resonate with you. Did I say that? that? That was why I paused. I couldn't remember if I'd already said it. So I feel like it's one person in between two people. Okay. So it could be that there is another person here in this mix. This could be a third party situation that we're seeing here with the seven of swords, right? It's showing up quite strongly that they are in between these two people. I feel like I'm getting a lot of messages. So you are there, you're showing up for them, your love is very pure, right? You're very open hearted, like you've got beautiful loving energy. I feel like sometimes that may lead you to be taken advantage of, right? There may be somebody else, and if this is the case, you already know this, this is gonna resonate with you. If it doesn't, it's not your story, please don't try and force it, um, you don't need to worry, right? But what I'm seeing is that there is potentially a third party, another energy. This could be a parental energy. It could be um, someone from their family, something like this. But I'm sensing that it's another kind of romantic interest. It could be like the shadow of their ex is causing a problem here. It could be somebody that they're in an entanglement with, right? That they've got history with or that is still here. This person, and this is important to know, meets some sort of need for them, right? This is why they're here. They're not the beautiful, loving person that you are. They're not, and they don't love your person, right? They just don't. They don't love your person, right? They may like having them around. They may like the attention. They may like the drama, right? But they don't love your person. You love them, right? But they don't love them. But this person is still in the mix in your life, showing up in this way, right? They're still entertaining them, right? Messaging them, maybe even seeing them, communicating with them, whatever it is, because this person meets some sort of need for them. I don't know what that is, okay? Could be anything. Could be anything. But there's something about this which is like a little catch, which is a little hook. And they know that this person doesn't love them, doesn't care about them, doesn't have their back. It's like this person, you are offering them true healthy love and yet there's this person who is not interested in them and doesn't love them but there's something about this person and the way that they show up for them the third party shows up for them which feels like love which feels more familiar when it comes to relationships so this could be like a subconscious pattern okay so i'll try and explain this as clearly as i can 
and only if this resonates with you, of course, so there's you and you are offering true love, but they've not experienced that before, so they can't connect to it, they can't connect in. From their higher self, they understand, but from their kind of uh, more human side, the 3D side, they're struggling to connect and to, to hook into that, right? This other person meets that need. The, the love that this person shows them feels more familiar to them because it more accurately reflects the love that they experienced growing up or as a child, right? So if someone, if they had like a mother who was a bit cold and distant or a primary caretaker who was like a little bit cold and distant or distracted or had mental health issues or health issues, whatever, and wasn't really there for them or maybe a parent who abandoned them, right? That's what they believe love is. And this other person is showing up this is quite a deep message. Um, kudos to you if you're still with me. Uh, this other person meets that need. So the, the attention that they're getting, the kind of love that they're getting from this third party energy feels very familiar to them and feels more like love. Or there's some kind of karmic lesson or karmic thing that's going on that they need to kind of play out. That could just be the issue there, okay? So I see your person in between two people or two energies. One of them is you. Um, right, but there seems to be somebody else here as well showing up, okay? But again, that's not a message for all of you. It is a strong message that's coming through from Spirit, but it may just be that they've kind of, um, yeah, they recognize the connection, they recognize that you are kind of like a spiritual, or, or like it's a soulmate connection, but they've decided to kind of cut you off or push you away for whatever reason, okay? So those are the two uh, themes that are coming through, the different kind of scenarios, but this is a general reading. So you just take what resonates, leave the rest behind as always. Five of Wands, High Priestess, Pisces energy showing up here, and the Nine of Cups that I'm seeing here. So it's just like, yeah, you bring them a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. I feel like they're keeping their feelings hidden. I feel like on the surface, there's quite a lot of drama. There's quite a lot of intensity, intense emotion, something like this, like disagreements, right? Not getting on the same page, like not a lot of love being expressed perhaps. Um, and yet deep down, they have really strong feelings for you, but they're kind of keeping it hidden. They're keeping it a secret from you. They're keeping it under wraps. Like they're, they're not expressing the depth of the feelings that they have for you, right? Is what I'm sensing as well, so for whatever reason. You know, maybe they don't wanna hurt you, maybe they don't wanna to be too vulnerable. I feel like on the surface of things, things look challenging, like they're a struggle and stuff like this. It's like kind of the eye of the storm, like at the center of it all though, there is this love, there is this anchor, there is this beautiful emotional fulfillment and happiness there. It's like they can't allow themselves to have what it is that they want. Again, this could be, you know, to do with that issue that we were talking about. There's this energy of they can't allow themselves to have what it is that they truly want, to connect to what it is that they want and to let themselves have it. It's like they have to undermine it. They have to self-sabotage it. They have to create the drama all the time. Perhaps because they feel unworthy. But what they want is you because they love you, right? Let's see what else is going on. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles in the reverse as well. So yeah, I feel like they're going to come towards you with an offer, but it's like it's not very well thought through because they do love you and they want to express love. There's something here just with this page that it just feels like it's a little bit immature or a little bit like not very well considered in some way. They're very curious about this love, right? They want to know kind of what it means. Why do I feel like this? Why, uh, why is this person in my life? What am I experiencing here? You know, their heart belongs to you. 
This has really given them a connection to kind of their spiritual self a little bit. They realize like that they've been selfish as well as what I'm sensing and they're becoming more open hearted. So they're kind of clearing some of those energies out of their heart chakra. So I see that they've been quite selfish. Right, it's like maybe they've said, I don't want you, but I don't want anyone else to have you. And they've been stopping you from moving on or stopping you from healing or stopping you from connecting with other people. There's a strong energy of, you know, I don't want you or I, I can't make this work, but I don't want anyone else to have you either. And they're kind of like keeping you in a holding pattern for some of you, is what I'm sensing. And they're being like really selfish by not allowing you to heal and to move on, if that's the case. It is challenging because it is, it is real love. Excuse me, I've got a catch in my throat. <clears throat> it is real love. They do want a spiritual connection. They do want to connect to your heart. But it's just like, they don't know how to meet your needs as well. That's the message that I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles. They don't know like how to do relationships or kind of how to meet your needs. Like to really listen and to kind of show up in that way. I think they're open to it though. There's definitely, I see an apology coming in as well. There's something here where they might want to offer you an apology, where they kind of, they want to say, look, I'm sorry, I realize that I've not been showing up in the right way, or that I've been lacking, right? Maybe that you need to be more direct about how, you know, what's important to you and how you truly feel and um, how they can meet your needs because they're very much in the dark about that. I mean, to you, I think it's obvious, but to them, they're a little bit clueless <laughs> about that. Like it doesn't matter what happens or what water there is under the bridge, they still love you. They still care about you all the time. And they know that they've done wrong by you, which is why they want to apologize. Yeah, and this energy that they've kind of been selfish in the past, but there's a realization there and it's just like, can you forgive me? And they want to learn how to meet your needs. Okay, you get four of pentacles, the emperor, ace of wands showing up here. I see them being able to master these issues that they've had, Aries energy showing up, right? Being able to kind of take control uh, of this situation, to kind of be motivated to find a solution, to make things work, to kind of be that divine masculine energy, regardless of your gender, that kind of action-based, action-orientated energy, you know, someone who's got more of a plan, someone who's more in control, someone who's not at the kind of mercy of these outside energies and forces, okay? So I do see a fresh start coming in here. I mean, you've got Ace of Cups, you've got Ace of Wands, that's love and desire all together, which is like a beautiful connection. So I see them being able to level up for you, okay? They're holding on to you very tightly with this Four of Pentacles, they're holding on to the idea of you. They're holding on to um, your energy. I think that you sense that you're still very much wrapped up in this. You're still very much caught up in this. You haven't been able to move on or to let go. And this is because your person hasn't let go of you either, is what I'm sensing. I feel like your person's really going through this process where they're able to level up, have more of a strategy, see things clearer in order to kind of move forward. And they definitely want another chance with you to kind of make this, make this work, make this happen. You know, the spark is still there. It still burns very strongly, okay? And they're still holding on to you. Let's see what messages they have for you. Mm, I'm amazed how perfect you are for me. Sometimes it feels as if you're not real. So they see you as the perfect 10, a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. We see that, what a great match you are with that King and Queen of Cups, right? This, you're like such a good fit for one another. And you see that, you know, you feel it. We have, I need you to love me as I am. It's like, can you do that? Can you kind of start where you 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 are and just kind of see them as this person who's kind of dealing with stuff, who is flawed, who's kind of processing things. It's like they're gonna really push back against any kind of energy where you wanna kind of change them. They're looking for kind of like acceptance 
This is what I'm sensing in their energy frequency that they're looking for acceptance. Can you accept them even though they've made mistakes? Can you accept them even though they're flawed? Can you accept them even though they're human? Right? That's something it feels like very like it's coming from a very raw, vulnerable place of just like so desperately just wanting to be loved as they are, right? Not as not the mask that they wear, you know, just loved for their authentic selves, right? Dreams coming true. This is so nice. They feel like you are a dream come true, um, that you bring magic to their life, right? That uh, this is a very special connection. If you are manifesting something with this person, I really see that happening for you. Okay, whatever you can imagine in your mind, you can experience in your reality. But they do feel like you are a dream come true, that you have brought like a lot of positivity, a lot of healing, a lot of magic into their life as a result of meeting you, okay? That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards as always. I've loved it so very much. It's um, been such an interesting reading. Do let me know how it resonates down in the comments. Uh, if you feel called to and you would like to get a more in-depth reading, there is nothing like um, having someone connect to your own energy and getting a personal reading. I highly recommend Psychic Source. They are offering Lumiere subscribers their first reading for just a dollar a minute. So it's a really amazing deal. If you are looking for something that's, you know, not just a quick reading, there's something that's more in depth, so you can really kind of talk through your situation, right? This is the most affordable way to do it. This is like the best deal out there. So which is great. So the beautiful thing about Psychic Source is that they offer a satisfaction guarantee. You are not happy with your reading for whatever reason, you can get another one absolutely for free with the advisor of your choice. So it's kind of a risk free deal. So do check that out if it resonates, I highly recommend it. Um, all the details are linked in the description box below this video, but I'm sending you lots of love and blessings in your situation. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care, bye-bye.